A former Fort Wayne mayor is getting some national attention. Thousands of people voted online to name the new city-county building in his honor. But that probably won't happen because of his name. News Channel 15's Don Austin is here to explain. Well, Heather, Mark, the people voted, and the top pick so far with more than 10,000 votes is the Harry Balls Government Center, named after one of the city's longest-serving mayors. But not everyone's on board with that name. Well, Harry Bales apparently was a great mayor. That's what I'm hearing. If you, re if you read the comments, actually, some people are very serious about what he did as mayor. Um, the family was, you know, it's part of our history. I think it's part of the history we're proud of. To pick the new name for the building, people went over to feedbackfortwayne.org. They made suggestions and voted. The overwhelming front runner was the Harry Balls Government Center. Harry Balls was the mayor of Fort Wayne back in the 1930s and 40s. He even served a term in the 1950s. We have a street named after Harry Balls. So what's the big deal about naming the new city county government building after him? I feel that it would be an honor to have him have the building named after him. And so many people have voted for it, I say let the people have the say. But this isn't an election where the person with the most votes wins. We want to look at something that reflects both the city and the county. So, you know, we're looking for something that isn't just a mayor, for, ex for example. So is this all about the name? Some people think the Harry Balls Government Center would make Fort Wayne the butt of jokes. After all, the family did change the pronunciation of their last name from Balls to Bales. Jim said it was his grandmother's idea. At the time when Harry was born, it was the connotation wasn't there like, like it's come up through the years so I think she was just trying to save the family a little bit of embarrassment especially her children Jim thinks a Harry Balls government center could be great for the city of Fort Wayne well I think it would put us on the map for one thing I know there's been a lot of controversy about it I think a lot of people are gonna snicker about it and laugh but uh, after it dies down uh, I don't see any problem and the online voting continues until Friday. The mayor will talk to community leaders about the online suggestions, and then a decision should be made about the building's name sometime by the end of this month. So just because it gets the most votes does not mean that's what the name's going to be. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Don. And still ahead, she's...